These are biblical figures unambiguously identified in contemporary sources according to scholarly consensus. Biblical figures that are identified in artifacts of questionable authenticity, for example the Jehoash inscription and the bully of Baruch ben Neria, or who are mentioned in ancient but non-contemporary documents, such as David and Balaam, are excluded from this list. Topic. Hebrew Bible Protocanonical Old Testament. Topic. The Hebrew Bible, known in Judaism by the acronym Tanakh, is the collection of ancient writings that are considered sacred by both Jews and Christians. They tell the story of the Jewish people and their ancestors, starting from the creation narrative and concluding near the end of the 5th century BCE. Although the first mention of the name Israel in archaeology dates to the 13th century BCE, contemporary information on the Israelite nation prior to the 9th century BCE is extremely sparse. In the following centuries a small number of local Hebrew documents, mostly seals and bully, mention biblical characters, but more extensive information is available in the royal inscriptions from neighboring kingdoms, particularly Babylon, Assyria and Egypt. Deuterocanonicals or Biblical Apocrypha the Deuterocanon consists of books and parts of books that are included in the Old Testament canon of the Eastern Orthodox and or Roman Catholic churches, but are not part of the Jewish Tanakh, and are regarded as apocryphal by Protestants. In contrast to the Tanakh, which is preserved in Hebrew with some Aramaic parts, the Deuterocanonical books are preserved mainly in Koine Greek, though Hebrew and Aramaic fragments have been found among the Dead Sea Scrolls. While the Deuterocanon describes events between the 8th and 2nd centuries BCE, most historically identifiable people mentioned in the Deuterocanon lived around the time of the Maccabean Revolt 167-160 BCE, by which time Judea had become part of the Seleucid Empire. Coins featuring the names of rulers had become widespread and many of them were inscribed with the year number in the Seleucid era, allowing them to be dated precisely. First-hand information comes also from the Greek historian Polybius c. 200 c. 118 BCE, whose histories covers much of the same period as the books of Maccabees, and from Greek and Babylonian inscriptions. <laughs> New Testament by far the most important and most detailed sources for first-century Jewish history are the works of Jewish historian Flavius Josephus 37 c. 100 CE. These books mention many of the same prominent political figures as the New Testament books and are crucial for understanding the historical background of the emergence of Christianity. Josephus also mentions Jesus and the execution of John the Baptist although he was not a contemporary of either. Apart from Josephus, information about some New Testament figures comes from Roman historians such as Tacitus and Suetonius and from ancient coins and inscriptions. The central figure of the New Testament is Jesus of Nazareth. Despite ongoing debate concerning the authorship of many of its books, there is a consensus among modern scholars that at least some were written by a contemporary of Jesus, namely the Epistles of Paul, parts of which are considered undisputed. However, outside the New Testament, no contemporary references to Jesus are known, unless a very early dating is assumed of some uncanonical gospel such as the Gospel of Thomas. Nevertheless, some authentic 1st century and many 2nd century writings exist in which Jesus is mentioned, leading scholars to conclude that the historicity of Jesus is well established by historical documents. Topic. Gospels. Topic. Topic. Acts of the Apostles and Epistles Topic. Topic. Tentatively identified Topic. These are biblical figures for which tentative but likely identifications have been found in contemporary sources based on matching names and credentials. The possibility of coincidental matching of names cannot be ruled out however. Topic: <inaudible> Hebrew Bible Protocanonical Old Testament. Topic: Ahaziah, Amaziah, king of Judah. 
The Tel Dan steel contains, according to many scholars, an account by a Syrian king probably Hazal, claiming to have slain Ahaz Iahu, son of Kin G of the House of David, who reigned c. 858–49 BCE. However, an alternative view, which dates the inscription half a century later, is that the name should be reconstructed as Amaze Iahu, who reigned c. 796 to 767 BCE. Isaiah, servant of King Josiah, 2 Kings chapter 22 verse 12. A seal with the text Asayahu servant of the king probably belonged to him. Azalia son of Meshullam, scribe in the temple in Jerusalem, mentioned in 2 Kings chapter 22 verse 3 and 2 Chronicles chapter 34 verse 8. A bulla reading belonging to Azaliabu son of Meshullam is likely to be his, according to archaeologist Naaman Avigad. Azariah son of Hilkiah and grandfather of Ezra, mentioned in 1 Chronicles 6 verses 13, 14, 9 11 and Ezra 7 verse 1. A bulla reading Azariah son of Hilkiah is likely to be his, according to Tsvi Schneider. Balas king of Ammon is mentioned in Jeremiah 40 verse 14. In 1984 an Ammonite seal, dated to c. 600 BCE, was excavated in Tel el Umeri, Jordan that reads, "...belonging to Milkomer, the servant of Baalisha." Identification of Baalisha with the biblical Baalis is likely, but it is not currently known if there was only one Ammonite king of that name. Darius II of Persia, is mentioned by the contemporary historian Xenophon of Athens, in the Elephantine Papyri, and other sources. Darius the Persian. Mentioned in Nehemiah chapter 12 verse 22, is probably Darius II, although some scholars identify him with Darius I or Darius III. Gedaliah son of Ahakam, governor of Judah. A seal impression with the name, Gedaliah who is over the house, is commonly identified with Gedaliah, son of Ahakam. Gedaliah son of Pasher, an opponent of Jeremiah. A bulla bearing his name was found in the city of David, Jemariah, son of Shaphan the scribe. A bulla was found with the text, To Jemariahu ben Shaphan. This may have been the same person as, Jemariah son of Shaphan the scribe, mentioned in Jeremiah chapter 36 verses 10, 12. Geshem, Gushem, the Arab, mentioned in Nehemiah 6 1, 6 is likely the same person as Gushem, king of Kedar, found in two inscriptions in Dedan and Tel el Mashkuda near the Suez Canal. Hilkiah, high priest in the temple in Jerusalem, mentioned throughout 2 Kings chapter 22 verse 8 minus 23 to 24 and 2 Chronicles chapter 34 verse 9 minus 35 to 8 as well as in 1 Chronicles chapter 6 verse 13, 9 11 and Ezra chapter 7 verse 1. Hilkiah in extra-biblical sources is attested by the clay bulla naming a Hilkiah as the father of an Azariah, and by the seal reading Hanan son of Hilkiah the priest. Jehoram, king of Israel c. 852-841 BCE is probably mentioned in the Tel Dan inscription. According to the usual interpretation, the author of the text, probably Hazal, king of Syria, claims to have slain both Ahaziah of Judah and Jeho Ram. However, some scholars, reconstructing the pieces of the stela differently, do not see Ram as the name of an Israelite king. Jehuchal son of Shelemiah, an opponent of Jeremiah. Archaeologists excavated a bulla with his name, but some scholars question the dating of the seal to the time of Jeremiah. According to Robert Deutsch the bulla is from the late 8th to early 7th century BCE, before the time of Jeremiah. Jeremiel, Prince of Judah. A bulla bearing his name was found. Jeroboam II, King of Israel. A seal belonging to Shema, servant of Jeroboam. Probably refers to King Jeroboam II, although some scholars think it was Jeroboam I. Jezebel, wife of King Ahab of Israel. A seal was found that may bear her name, but the dating and identification with the biblical Jezebel is a subject of debate among scholars. Josiah, king of Judah. Three seals were found that may have belonged to his son Eliashib. Nergal Sherzer, king of Babylon is probably identical to an official of Nebuchadnezzar II mentioned in Jeremiah chapter 39 verse 2. A record of his war with Syria was found on a tablet from the Neo-Babylonian Chronicle Texts. Sariah son of Neria. He was the brother of Baruch. 
Naman Avagad identified him as the owner of a seal with the name, Tisariyahu, Nariyahu. Shebna or Shabania, royal steward of Hezekiah, only the last two letters of a name HW survive on the so-called Shebna lintel, but the title of his position, over the house, of the king and the date indicated by the script style, have inclined many scholars to identify the person it refers to with Shebna. Sheshonk I, pharaoh of Egypt, is normally identified with King Shishak in the Hebrew Bible. The account of Shishak S invasion in the fifth year of Rehoboam, 1 Kings chapter 14 verses 25 to 28, is thought to correspond to an inscription found at Karnak of Shashank's campaign into Palestine. However, a minority of scholars reject this identification. Uzziah, king of Judah, the writings of Tiglath Pileser III may refer to him, but this identification is disputed. There is also an inscription that refers to his bones, but it dates from the 1st century CE. Zedekiah, son of Ananiah Jeremiah chapter 36 verse 12. A seal was found of Zedekiah son of Hanani. Identification is likely, but uncertain. Deuterocanonicals or Biblical Apocrypha Eretazai, king of the Nabataeans, Florida, c. 169 BCE, mentioned in 2 Macc. 5 to 8, is probably referred to in an inscription from Elusa. Topic: New Testament. Topic: The Egyptian, who was, according to Acts chapter 21 verse 38, the instigator of a rebellion also appears to be mentioned by Josephus, although this identification is uncertain. Sergius Paulus was proconsul of Cyprus Acts chapter 13 verses 4 to 7, when Paul visited the island around 46 to 48 CE. Although several individuals with this name have been identified, no certain identification can be made. One Quintus Sergius Paulus, who was proconsul of Cyprus probably during the reign of Claudius 41-54 CE is however compatible with the time and context of Luke's account. Lysanias, was tetrarch of Abila around 28 CE, according to Luke 3-1. Because Josephus only mentions a Lysanias of Abila who was executed in 36 BCE, some scholars have considered this an error by Luke. However, one inscription from Abila, which is tentatively dated 14-29 CE, appears to record the existence of a later tetrarch called Lysanias. Thutas. The sole reference to Thutas presents a problem of chronology. In Acts of the Apostles, Gamaliel, a member of the Sanhedrin, defends the Apostles by referring to Thutas Acts chapter 5 verses 36-8. The difficulty is that the rising of Thutas is here given as before that of Judas of Galilee, which is itself dated to the time of the taxation c. 6-7 AD. Josephus, on the other hand, says that Thutas was 45 or 46, which is after Gamaliel is speaking, and long after Judas the Galilean. See also Biblical archaeology the Bible and history Biblical figures Chronology of Jesus List of artifacts significant to the Bible List of burial places of Biblical figures List of people in both the Bible and the Quran Topic. Notes Topic. Topic. References Topic. Topic. Bibliography. Topic. Coogan, M. D., Brettler, M. Z., Newsom, C. A., et al., E. D. S., 2010. The New Oxford Annotated Bible with the Apocrypha, 4th ed., Oxford University Press. ISBN 9780195289242. Hello, William W., ed., 1997-2002. The Context of Scripture. Brill. ISBN 9789004131054. Hill, Edward, 1997. Antiquities of the Jews. 
Translated by Whiston, William. Polybius. Histories. Translated by Schuckberg, Evelyn Shirley. Pritchard, James B., ed. 1969. Ancient Near Eastern Texts Relating to the Old Testament with Supplement 3D ed. Princeton University Press. ISBN 9780691035031. Pritchard, James B., ed. 1969. 